All right, let's have a quick look at where we stand with the Reva Titan build. Um, as you can see, there's been quite a lot of process, progress since the last uh, the last video. Uh, I've left all the arm panels off, obviously, for painting. Um, now, the idea with this, this Reva is to have a lot of freehand work. Uh, you can see that I have, yeah, I, I've worked out the bulk of the freehand there on the carapace, which is the most um, obvious part. And that's going to be, I think, the, the most visible, the most important thing to get right. I'm really happy with that skull on the side there. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of little areas to still do. You can see the where this uh, the base of the neck there just sort of floats into nothingness there. That'll get resolved. Uh, I've done the script. Script is really fucking hard. I think that is just the hardest thing you can do. It's really hard to get um, symmetrical, to get it straight, to get it, you know, lined up. Uh, it's it's tough, and it's something that requires a lot of planning. Um, I find it helps to have the a, a photocopy of the script that you want to write next to it, um, printed out at the same sort of rough size. I find that helps, uh, and then and then you can uh, work out where you want it, get the layout right, uh, and then make marks where the center is. So I always go from the 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 center of the word and work outwards um, otherwise you can if you start at the beginning of the word or at the end of the word by the time you get to the to the end to the other end then you could have run out of space everyone's done it i'm sure um, i've done it but yeah if you start in the center that's the way to do it um, yeah you can see there's again there's just there's not really anything i can i've been able to show you um, tutorial wise i've done the the silver medals tutorial, uh, uh, I'm going to, right after I finish recording this, do a golden one uh, or a yellow medals tutorial. You can see here, this is just base coated at the moment um, under here. This is more or less done. This this is the f sort of finish. Probably this one, this section's closer actually to what it'll look like when it's finished. A bit of sort of worn, um, a worn yellow medal, bronze, whatever you want to call it. Um, space bronze let's call it space gold um, so let's have a look this leg it's uh it's been leg sort of work recently um this is glued on now this is glued on now again really crucial to get make sure that you've uh, marked these so that this is the port side leg or port side outboard port side inboard um, to use nautical terms but i mean i think that sort of works with a titan uh, you can see that this gap joins up. You have to get the glue on the struts after it's painted or, or painted, obviously. You have to get the glue on the, the, the support struts that go into the top of this leg uh, and then get a little bit of glue on the joint here and then stick the whole lot together. Uh, I still need to do a little bit more weathering on this gold, a little bit more, some scratches and things. The base is down for this gold. This, uh, you can see the difference between the weathered green panel and the unweathered green panel. This has got some shading at the bottom, but really no weathering. Uh, you can see the, I'm going to call that a dick plate. Uh, the dick plate here is pretty much done. It's weathered. It's, uh, yeah, it's got its me metallic surface done. That's the metallic sort of finish that we're going to end up with with the yellow gold that's i'm pretty happy with that uh i still need to add, finish the um, hydraulic marks on these pistons now that will this is just uh, syrup from sepia wash but it, it will then get i'll do a bit of agrax earth shade uh, and then i will do um hard coat some some gloss varnish over the top just of that section to make it look like it's wet now uh, I understand, you, you quite often see a lot of people and they'll put the marks all the way up to here. I don't, that doesn't work. I mean, if you look here, the housing for that ram, you know, it, it stops here. It's it's only going to go that far. Um, this, as, as I see it anyway, this um, central pivot point, would you call it? I guess you'd call it a pivot point here that runs through there. 
it's going to be a cylindrical shape there this ram's only going to come down you know that far it's only going to come down that gap there i think so it's important to make, get that right don't go all the way up the top yeah it might look cool but it, it also on first inspection yeah it's cool and then you think well actually that's that's not possible so you could either do it at the top here and assume that it, it goes down this way but i i think it would really it would go it would the ram would be fixed at this point and extend into here possibly go the other way i'm not sure anyway it doesn't matter it, it looks better if it looks better if the um if this hydraulic ring uh, this ring of wet hydraulic fluid is a at the right height above the um the seal here uh and also that it that it um it looks better at the bottom at the top it would run down so you won't get a clear delineated mark because at the top it would sort of drip down and you would have drips so that's my thinking anyway that's what i'm going to do uh yeah so you can see the the gold here it looks different under different lights but there's a lot of there's a lot of different colors in there i'm really happy with the the metallic skeleton of this thing you can see i've probably gone a little bit nuts with um uh, transfers up in there on those pistons um, but you know it's a titan how many titans are you going to paint in your life not fucking many my wife would say um, probably got a couple more in me though just quietly uh, yeah see some skulls always got to have skulls lots of skulls um, yeah that's the legs so I'm about to stick this uh, I'll do the gold for this and I'll stick this one on you can see that is nicely, I think nicely anyway, you might disagree. Uh, so it's weathered up, quite small chips relative to the size of the Titan, but I think that's important because um, that's how big, you know, rocks and debris and missiles and shit are. Yeah, and uh, keep these chips on here the same scale as the chips on here and the chips on here, you know, it's all the same size. Um, yeah. So that's some um, notes on chips and scale. What else have we got? Um, yeah, so here you can see that the flames on this um, halo, this burning halo, they're in scale to any of the banners that I've done. If I'd ever do flames on anything, it's the same size as that. Don't make it bigger because it's on a bigger surface. Make it the same size and it will emphasize the scale of the thing that it's on. Um, yeah. So I've still got, obviously I haven't touched any of this stuff. It's all base coated at the back there. You can see I've removed the arms, um, the weapon arms, just for painting, ease of painting. Um, and then once that's all done, I will glue, I will glue them in and then I will fit the cabling. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with the way that it's looking so far. It's nicely weathered. It's not rusty. It's, it's, yeah. This is the one of the literal gods of the Mechanicum. I've started the weathering, the chipping there, um, just to get an idea in, because I couldn't help myself. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Let's have a look. This leg is work in progress. That's what I've been doing the last night. Um, yeah, this will be our starboard leg. Starboard inboard, starboard outboard. Still got some uh, stuff to add here. Uh, all right, we've got our starboard shoulder guard here. Um, again, this is a fairly simple design. This needs to be weathered down, uh, blended into the surface to make it look like it actually exists on, on the surface. Um, yeah, and this is the, its counterpart, the port side um, shoulder guard, I guess you would call it, or you would call it a weapon mount guard. It's probably more accurate. Oh, mate, it doesn't have shoulders. Um, yeah, this... Uh, this has all been planned out. A lot of these images have been sort of searched for on Google Images and on Pinterest. And I, I um, keep folders on my phone and I just scroll through them when I get a minute. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good fun. I enjoy doing that and just deciding what's going where. That's half the battle. Uh, and the head. Head. So... There's the head. The head's one of the first things. I, that's actually the first bit of freehand I did. Um, I usually work on the face of a model first. 
Um, you can see he's sort of weathered down a bit there. Again, all the chips and scratches are at the same scale. The gold still needs to be done on that one. The yellow metal obviously still needs to be done. A couple of um, transfers. Um, I have just started the, let's see if we can zoom in on that. This is high tech. Just started base coating the lenses under there. This isn't glued on or anything as yet. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. So there's that. Uh, this is the chest guard. This is where, I'm not sure if it goes that way. I think it goes that way up. Um, this is the chest guard. This is where I will have the name of the Titan, Temeraire. Um, probably butchered that. Um, I'll have that in script there. So on a scroll, some scroll work and script there. Uh, this thing, you, you'll only see this bit of it. So this Titan's not going to be available to be opened up and looked into. I will paint the crew, but I will put them in a separate model. This is that, that'll be a whole oh, separate thing. You'll see that later. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. We've done the starboard weapon arm and the port weapon arm. Uh, they're, looking, they're looking pretty good, I hope, I think. Um, yeah, so oh, a couple of important things to note. Spray the backs of the, prime the backs of these because that is visible. Prime them black. You don't need to go crazy. I, you could paint them, you could paint them a, a silver metallic color if you want. Um, you can't really see in there, but I mean, yeah, you can, you can get in that. You can see if you leave it gray, you, if you leave it bare primer, you will see it. Also the undersides of this, uh, I haven't painted. I'm going to do that silver. That's just very basically primed, um, very lightly primed at the moment. Uh, so I'll, I'll paint all of that in just uh, my gunmetal color. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, this um, carapace pod has been base coated. So you can see there's still a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do on this. Um, there's a lot of gold that needs to, gold trim, bronze trim that needs to go on here. They need to paint that all around the back here. There's a lot more trim that needs to be painted. Um, but I estimate should be all knocked over this month. So that's June, probably another... There's probably another three or four weeks work in this, um, and then it then it'll be done. I've still got to work out the um, the dick flag here. I don't know what you call that. Let's call it a dick flag. All right. Thank you, everybody. See you soon.